If you're using Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Forms, and any other Google thing that I literally forgot to mention, if you're using one of those products and you want to be able to share your document with other people, but you don't want them to request edit access in order to maybe edit a template that you're sharing with them or like a form or something like that, then what you can do is you can force them to make a copy before they even take a look at that document itself. So how you do that is what I'm going to show you in this video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're just going to kick it over into a screen share, and I'm just going to show you the really simple Google trick to be able to share these documents and templates and forms and everything in a way that makes more sense for your clients, for your students, or for whoever you're sharing stuff with. So let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up the file that you want to share with people. So as you can see in this example, I'm just using a Google Doc, but this little trick should work well for, like I said in the intro, the sheets, the slides, the forms, all the goods, okay? Should be should be the same thing. But the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is we need to make sure that our share settings are set up properly. So in this top right-hand corner, click share, and then this pop-up should pop up here. We can't have it be restricted because then this isn't going to work. So click that down button thing and then go ahead and click anyone with a link. And we just want to give them viewer permissions here. So go ahead and do that and then click done. And then we're going to come up here into the address bar and go ahead and edit it. So this is this is the, the trick here. So basically at the end of the URL, and yours might look a little bit different than mine, but basically we want to delete everything up until right after the edit but we want to leave that backslash, okay? So go ahead and delete everything else, and then we're gonna type in the word copy. So once you do that, now we can copy that URL and we can test it in a new tab. So go ahead and open up a new tab, paste it into the address bar and click enter, and then you should see something like this. So basically when you share this URL with people and you have, instead of edit after that last backslash, you have copy, then it forces the user to make a copy of the document before they even view it. The other way to go ahead and get this URL is right in those that share setting right there. You can click share and click copy link. And then when you paste it, in like wherever you're pasting it, you can do the exact same thing. So you can just go ahead and delete everything, including the edit after that last backslash, and then type in copy. We always wanna double check this, click enter, and then we should see the forced download screen. If you didn't want to make the user or like your students or your clients or whatever, like force download it and get this screen, then you can tell them how to make a copy from the master document here. So they're probably going to see a little thing that says like view only access, but you can have them come up here to file and then you can click make a copy. This will allow them to rename it and choose the Google Drive folder in which this document will essentially be shared to. But other than that, that's basically it. It's super easy and really, really straightforward. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any suggestions for related videos or you're having any questions about Google products or little Google tricks like this, then definitely leave me a comment below this video. I use your comments and your feedback and your questions to be able to inspire new videos on this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.